Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoime, aka Massage Nerd, and today we have a special guest, and I see her at every single show, I think, now. <laughs> <laughs> Anita Shen, so, cupping, nice yeah, massage yes. cupping, yep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Yep, yeah, you too, it's always a pleasure, and you're always full of energy all the time, and you're always sucking everybody in all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time at the shows, yeah. and... It's our way of showing people when you get on the table, you really get to feel this. And that's the big difference. You can watch it, but until you really get one of those cups on you and have it move around and have us do some of the release work, you really yep. don't understand. Yep, and you're one of the few ones where you can actually dem um, see the demonstration right on the trade show floor. Oh, so yeah. it just makes sense. Massage trade show, might as well have some demo. So. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> and there's usually a long line and stuff, so that's <laughs> nice. We live for it, yep. we really do. Yep. So a big question um, about the meta cupping. So yes. yeah. So what's what's entailed with the meta cupping compared to the your regular suction cups? Then? Okay. Basically, the overview term is is vacu therapies that we use. Yep. Under that comes massage cupping, which is manual equipment and doing body work only with it. No traditional Chinese medicine, unless you know shiatsu or something. The meta cupping is now building on that but it uses a machine and we started medicupping years ago because we found the medical community would look at our results and say wow look at the scar work look at this look at the pre and post bariatric and then they'd look at our equipment and say whoa yeah so <laughs> we found a machine and beautiful machines out of france and we're selling those and at six and ten thousand dollars no one could afford it so I was watching this die, you know, because of the economy and no one being able to afford the machine. So we came out with a machine for about three to four hundred now. Oh, that's so very reasonable. Too. Everybody can get so started. So everybody's buying two or three, you know? No, <laughs> there's, there's actually a six-week wait for okay, it. Okay. But it's been so overwhelming, the response, that we, we can't manufacture them quickly enough. So we may have to set up the manufacturing, you know, a second manufacturing. And does it um, just constantly just one level no. the whole time, or no? You um. can adjust your suction. You have to be able to adjust that for each person. Okay. And you have one static suction, and then you have six different modes where it pumps, either really fast for superficial work, or really slow to go really deep in. And then it releases again. So you never, when you're going that deep, you don't want a long static suction. Okay. So it does a lot of the work for you. It's got bifurcated hoses, so you can, you know, dueling cups. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can do money. Oh, it's right so now. nice. Oh. It's so nice because oh. now I can traction. Because now oh. I've got two. It's and it gave me my hand back, but still, you saw in that demo I just did out on the floor. Yeah. I went back to my manual equipment for her feet. Because her feet yes, were sir, thick. Yes, it looks good. So with the yep. machine, we can work on hands. We've got real small cups, feet, face, everything. But sometimes I just love my manual equipment. I'll pull it back out. But the other one is theracupping. So there's massage cupping, meta cupping, and then theracupping is home care. Okay. So we've brought in silicone cups from Russia and South Africa and glass cups from Germany that have a maximum suction strength so people can't hurt themselves. Well, they can, okay, good. So. Yeah. And now I was wondering if there's any contraindications with cupping. I mean, yes. you don't have to go over all of them, but just some of the yeah. major ones that you. Basically, um, it depends on the person's condition. If somebody is diabetic, you are moving an enormous amount of fluid with these cups. I mean, it was originally used to divert blood flow from a surgery site, so that's how okay. much you've moved. Let's say you had somebody with diabetes and you overloaded their kidneys or their heart by moving too much circulation and too much fluid. So minimal, less is better. People, you know, when we look at a new modality, we tend, in America, tend to think that the more we do it, the better it is. Same with aromatherapy, less is more therapeutic and better. You know, you saw how long I worked on her feet, maybe sure. 10 minutes. And that's all she needs, you know, and then if there's a residue, come back and we'll get that. There's really no reason to overwork people. Okay. And do you recommend people come back on a regular basis then, or it, it just depends on what kind of ailment or problem they have and stuff? And it does. It. it does. Um, if it's body contouring and weight loss, they're coming to see us for eight treatments, maybe ten. That might take anywhere from four to ten weeks, and they should be done. 
That's what's neat is I've discharged my clients with fibromyalgia. They're asymptomatic. I've never been able to do this before. The biggest thing with the vacu therapies we found is it actually erases our history. Why can I pull a gray color up on somebody's back who never smoked a cigarette and they're 50 years old, chronic bronchitis, the smoke from her parents is still in her lungs. Oh. So we keep thinking we've passed these things by. It's like, oh, that was my childhood. That's part of your history. So the only thing that can really suck that history out and move it out through the lymphatic system and give that tissue the opportunity to recover, give the body systems the opportunity to rebalance. That's why I can discharge people with fibromyalgia is we've taken all the history out and given their body that break where it can say, okay, now I can start out again and my homeostatic mechanisms can come back into play. Okay. It's, it's so cool. I can't believe I'm just so passionate yeah. about this. It's neat. So, um, I don't know if we really talked about your history and stuff like that with massage and what, what you did before massage. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Remember been a long time. Yeah. 1983 is when I, I started working. In 83, I got licensed in cosmetology. I was doing some massage. I've been in a really one of my really severe car accidents and told that I was permanently disabled for the rest of my life. And instead, I went to a massage therapist and they helped me, but it always hurt really badly. It took about two years for me to be able to stand up again and, and work, so that's when I was able to start doing massage. But as a, a cosmetologist, I did facials and I did manicures, pedicures, so I massaged everybody everywhere except maybe here. Yeah. So. So you're After, a cosmetologist to start off with then? Yes, okay. for a couple of years then okay. when it did massage but just didn't get licensed because it was within my cosmetology license. So I okay. waited till probably about 86, 87 to get my massage license in Florida. Okay. Um, we have a lot of latitude as cosmetologists and estheticians really do too. I mean, there's a lot of them that can work almost everywhere except the belly and yeah, take a look at wow. some of the state licensing. Wow. Yeah, it's really fascinating. They can do a massage on all the extremities. So, it's, doing massage has been just such a gift for me, but I am finding after all these years, it, it starts wearing on you. So to find a tool like this that took 90% of my deep tissue work and melted it away for me, where I, I'm working smarter, not harder. And as you get in your 50s and so, and in this field for 25, 30 years, that's how we survive, is these new tools and new technology. Well, it was many years ago, people were really against using tools, but wouldn't yeah. you say it's kind of turning, turning the tide now that people are incorporating more tools now? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it used to be very selective, you know, hands only, and now people are really getting it. Kinesio tape, my gosh, what a tool. Um, you know, the cups, the, oh, some of the stones out there on the floor, absolutely amazing, the hot and cold stones. Um, Essential oils are a wonderful tool that people just don't think about. It really is a tool. Yeah. So, oh, God. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's been really fun to watch this industry after all these years. And you know, the nice thing is that with the cups, I got introduced to them in Chinese medicine, but it's the same tool. We just took it and morphed it into body work. So just the difference clearly would be if you set the cups on somebody and you leave them 10 to 15 minutes, you have now gathered stagnation into the area. Okay. That's Chinese medicine, there's reasons for that, and it's based on their theory and system. In body work, we want to disperse stagnation. Yep. So you'll see some of the things we do in body work are the opposite of the TCM cupping. Yep. Same tool, different technique. I mean, you've got a hand, I've got a hand, we use them differently, it's the same tool. And do acupuncturists, um, your, your style of cupping, do they incorporate demoxibustion at all into mm -hmm. it or at all, or do they mostly just do the fire cups with demoxibustion? Or, or fire, the, the, people have a real, real misconception. Fire is just simply another way to create a vacuum. There is nothing different in the technique at all. We started with fire cupping and kept with it, and you'll still see it on one of our DVDs just so you have some training in case you want to try it and not set your favorite friend on fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is a gorgeous technique. I mean, it's just so organic and really gathers some beautifully. Some of them it's just so fluid. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people watch when I do the fire cup, people yeah. just kind of, because it, it took... It's memorizing. It's literally... 
We used yeah. to do it at all the shows, but of course it's, it's a fire hazard now, so we can't. And you guys really realize that if you're doing fire cupping, check your liability insurance, every single one. If you use fire to create that vacuum, you have just nullified your liability insurance for the whole session. So for professional work, you're gonna have to use the the mechanical ones. Um, people were leaving the fire, they weren't trained, they left the fire in the cup too long and put a hot cup down on somebody. Yep. But the acupuncturists are starting to look at what we're doing extensively. You know, they're really getting interested, like, okay, this is a very different system from ours, but boy, what if these work together? And I always send my clients to acupuncturists um, let's say I'm working on spider veins and I clear them out and get them as good as they're going to get. I send them to an acupuncturist who lances it, puts the cup over it, and pulls. So we work together. Acupuncture facelifts. Put our facelifting and drainage with that and network with those people. Yeah. So it ties us into the acupuncture field, the medical field. My and the, the therapy cupping is more for home use, yes. right? Yes. So it's yeah. for the average person. Yeah. Right? Yes, and we will show you how to, because sometimes you may not have the time to get to somebody, but all of a sudden your belly just blew up and you can't wear any of your clothes anymore. We can show you very quickly how to open your lymphatic system up in the shower with one of our Russian silicones yep. and, you know, clear that stagnation, because not only is it aesthetic and uncomfortable, but it is a health issue. This is, this is telling you there's a problem here. Do you usually use oil, lotion, or cream with it, or does yep. it matter? Or yeah, a favorite of ours is Bon Vital. Okay. And their organic line works beautifully with the cups. And then they also just came out with fractionated coconut oil for us. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. It, it is they marvelous. Show, it looks like now, too, and stuff. So it's one of the I'm very things, happy. You know. <laughs> uh, but you can use quite a few different things. But we did find that when we went into class, we encouraged people to bring their own creams. But then when I would see they're having trouble, I'd go over and just, you know, smear a little on and say, okay, now try it. And all of a sudden, it would do what they wanted to do. So it does make a difference. If you're having trouble learning the technique or doing it, check your cream or your lotion first. That could be your problem and not the technique. Yeah. And with the meta cupping with oils and creams and things like that, does anything, you know, you're not supposed to be using with that? Does it affect it at all? Or no, or that machine is so tough okay. and nothing is getting pulled into it. It's got a great filter system. You have warranty like that. Too. Yeah, it's a year right. warranty. Okay. Um, we're going to be coming out with newer machines even over the next couple of years different motors, one with e-stem for the chiropractors, oh, okay. you know, different things like, I can't tell too many more of the details, <laughs> but even if you get this original machine, we're gonna do a trade-in program down the road that if okay. you wanna upgrade, we'll take it back, recondition it, and sell it at half price to somebody who really wants to get started, but it's in a little tight financial situation. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And you got instructors all over the United States yes. too, so it's, it's nice, so you can, more likely there's going to be a class or something, instructor around your area. So yeah, there's eight of us. Yep. And now we're in France every year, so you've got to come to Provence. It is a real trip. And you get to study with people from all over the world. When you meet, and there's doctors in our workshops over there, so you're, you're just working with this amazing group of people. And then we'll be in the UK, 2012. Yep. And Canada is really calling for it, so the whole world has really gotten it that there's something pretty exciting happening with this wonderful little tool. And when I saw the, a pediatrician come to our class in France and knew that some little children were going to get some amazing care and history erasure at such a young age, I can't wait to see what kind of data they collect. Yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> uh, I'm so excited, I really am. <laughs> You're definitely making uh, I, it's trust of all the stuff. Right back at you. Know, a lot of this we couldn't do yeah. without you. If you weren't sitting here doing this and helping us to get these messages out and this information, well, we really, really appreciate you, Ryan. Thank you. Mutual admiration society. No, no, no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So for more information, the best way to get a hold of you would be over there. We've got three or four different websites, and you'll see more coming. Okay. But the, the main one... Some humor ones, too. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, one inspired by you, a yeah, humorous yeah. one. Yeah. We'll wait on that one. But yeah. Yeah.
But you can visit massagecupping.com, metacupping.com. One directional site for you will be cuppingtherapy.com, and that'll tell you all our different sites. Theracupping, if you want to just investigate and see what the home care is, and you will see a lot more sites coming out because we just keep getting more and more information and just want to share everything we find out. Yeah, it's the nice thing is you're not just from the massage community and you're in so many different areas too. So Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, this has become such a great stepping stone to working with the medical community. My husband in eight months went from beginning of practice to there are so many physicians in our town sending to him that he's actually going to have to move into a clinical setting and hire people. It, it happened that fast. Wow. You know, it's very quick, and when the doctors see how their patients come out, they they send everybody. So it's it's wonderful that we get to really step in there now at such an equal level. You know, like hey, you know, we really are here. We really know our stuff. We're very talented, even though an LMT is not a PT and we have not fit into the medical community really deeply yet, I just see that this is one of the inroads will be the vacuum yeah, it's, therapy. It's always going to get better, you know, it's always going to uh, be up. <laughs> yeah, people like Mike McGillicuddy out there, you know, and, and just all of us who work with the medical community, pretty soon it's really going to get tight where they're going to get what we've yeah. got to offer. I think the biggest thing is for them, um, hospitals, how to bill for it. Yeah. Yes. That's where Vivian Mahoney comes in, yeah. you know, of how do we work with the medical community in insurance billing. Yeah. So you've got, if you haven't come to these conventions yet, get your butts over here because you're going to get to meet <laughs> Vivian, you're going to get to meet Ryan, you're going to get to meet everybody and really see what is moving and shaking in the industry. Yep, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. <laughs> lots of shows to choose from too. Yeah. So. All over it. <laughs> but the World Massage Festival is very dear to our hearts here. We, Mike Kinkle does just amazing work, and it's just a very close and actually kind of a casual kind of show. I and like no that. No ties allowed. Or no ties. Yeah. <laughs> I should wear one tomorrow. Yeah, just, oh, okay. no, there you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Maybe I should wear one to the awards. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Always, yeah, thanks thank so you. much. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Bye. everyone. Yeah.